Welcome, guys. So today, keep doing our GRE new section math GRE nine six nine seven six A form. So the first one. So the first I usually did the first ten problem uh in a video because I think it's, it's easy to do this. So this is the uh this is the calculus the fundamental theorem of calculus. So let me remind you guys that uh, okay so this is the key this is the key uh, so the uh, answer is C uh, the answer is C okay and second one F1 is 2 how about if n equals to f n minus one plus a half? So it means f two is two plus a half. F three is f two plus a half. So it's f four is f three plus a half times two three. Also, this is one. Okay, so basically, you can get f. Let's go about F101. So F101 is F1 plus half times 50. Okay, because 4, this is 3. 3, this is a half times 2. So the answer is what? Uh, well, I'm writing 101. So this is 2 plus 50. So the answer should be 52. The answer should be 52. Uh, if a b a minus b b a is invertible on the matrix multiplication then it's inverse okay so you need to remember the formula a b c d inverse is 1 over a d minus b c times a d minus change the position and uh, make a minus sign on minus b and c so this is a square b square. I uh, change the position and the negative sign. So the answer is c. The answer is c. Okay, number four. If b greater than zero, and uh, you know that uh, zero b x dx is equal to the zero b x square dx. And the area of shaded region. Uh, this is what you want to attack. Okay, so basically, uh, we have this one and uh, this one. So let me find. Uh, we can find this point. This point is one one, right? Just solving y equals to x and y equals x squared. So now this is x equals to b. Uh, so uh, this region is uh, x squared minus x dx from one to b. So, uh, four, so this is three to the b and uh, b squared over two minus. Uh, 1 over 3rd plus a half, so it's 1 over 6. So it looks, uh, this is the answer. But the question tells us that this is correct. So this tells you that b squared over 2 is the b cubed over 3. So this tells me that uh, this turns 0. So the answer is 1 over 6. The answer is 1 over 6. So the answer is B. 
Where's the USB? Okay, number five. Over the five and ten, and uh, as the browser solely means that uh, that means that the derivative of this is zero, and the derivative of ten is zero. And the note of all this that uh, this is <coughs> the derivative, the second derivative for a double prime, uh, which is uh, negative, and the second derivative for the ten is positive. So it means that the uh, Uh, when x equals to 5, it should look like this. And when x, x equals to 10, things is positive, and so secondary is positive, mean is upward. So when x equals to 10, it should look like this. So this is the feature what we need to see. So the first one uh, is, mm, is wrong, since when x equals to 5, there is no minimum. Uh, B is also not correct because there's no relative uh, minimum at x equals to ten. Uh, C is C C should be correct. Okay. Uh, D is not correct because no relative minimum. Uh, uh, let me see. So the 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 difference. Oh, so C is not correct because x equals to five. It should be downward. So for E. Uh, for e, the you see for e, the x equals to five is downward, and uh, x equals to ten is upward. So e is correct one. E is correct one. Ah, somehow I need to be careful. Okay, so number six, uh, you can see the question. And uh, let me start. So the first one I said k equals to nine nine nine, and i equals to one. P equals to zero, and if k larger than i, so nineteen nine 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 larger than one, right? So we go to step three. So we replace i with two i. So we have i equal to two, and the p equals to one. And then we go back to spec step two. K is still larger than i. Nine 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 is larger than two. So we keep going to the third step. So this third step, i is four, p is two. Then we keep because nine 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 is still larger than four, and we go to step four, step three. So we have i equals to uh, eight, and p equals to three. And then we keep going until until what? K uh, less or equal to. So I guess you guys already know the know the know the know the key point. So this is two to the i p, right? I is two to the p. So when i equals to ten, then uh p uh, when p equals to ten, then i is one uh one thousand twenty four one thousand twenty four larger than nine nine nine. So the answer is. And the answer is p equals to ten because how far uh finally you were print p so the follow the answer is c the answer is c okay number seven which is the the graph uh this is easy right because uh for the circle you need you have two pi region right if you write it as sine cosine or other combination you have two pi region but now you only have uh <coughs> minus pi over four right so you only have quarter region you only have quarter region so you know a is impossible e is impossible only uh d b c are impossible b c d are impossible so for t equals to zero you have sine zero cosine zero is or t equals to minus pi over half, and we have sine pi over half is minus one, cosine pi over half is zero. 
so basically we have 0 1 minus 1 0 right so just connected endpoints so answer is uh, the answer is B the answer is B okay so number A is the fundamental calculus that everyone should remember this is dx squared right so the answer is and you need to times a half log one minus uh, plus x squared and one from one to one zero so the answer is half log two <coughs> uh, so remember that the a log b is log b to a so this is log 2 to the square root of 2 the answer is e the answer is e <coughs> so number 9 if the s is non-empty finite set with k element then the member uh, the number of the one-to-one -one function from s to s this is one one on two s. Uh, so since it's one one, right? So the number of f of s is is also k. So basically, for suppose we have k element, we have k element. So we just random, uh, we just assign some some x j for the x i. So it has it. Has uh, so x1 has k choice but for x2 x2 cannot choose the same points which s1 already take so x2 take k minus 1 point uh, k one, one, one minus 1 choice and the x3 cannot take whatever x1 and x2 take so x3 can take k minus 2 and sk 10 can only take the last so the answer is k k minus 1 k minus 2 two, 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 1 so it's K factorial. So the answer is B. Uh, the answer is A. The answer is A. Number ten. Okay, so let me explain number 10 by just, okay, so number 10, this is the old school problem. Maybe you, you guys already know the answer <laughs> because this, this kind of problem is too, uh, too familiar with. So basically, if x equal to some point due to the rational approximation, basically for some a and uh, we use some rational number sequence to approximate a we get one but if we use the irrational points to approximate a we get exponential a and i think it must be it needs to be continuous so this is the this a is the only point which continues right so the answer is the only continuous point is zero is zero so old school problem. The answer is B. The answer is B. So that's it. Then we already solved the ten, the first ten problems. Usually the first ten problems are not difficult. Uh, usually it's very easy that you can solve it very quickly. So you need to solve it as quick as possible for that you to solve the other fifty six problems. And uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.